What up, YouTube? It's Circle Gaming 719, aka Nando. It is about 3 in the morning. Um, this is part 2 video of my hunt. Um, yesterday we scouted a little bit, shot the rifle, got it sighted in, and it's pretty good on the money. So, what we're gonna do is head out about 3 30, head up to the mountain, find a good spot to hunker down, and wait for the sun to crack the mountain. So, um, we're going to hopefully get on some animals. Uh, we saw a lot of big deer yesterday, but um, we did see a herd of elk, but it was more closer to the town where I live on private property, but well, where I'm from. But uh, we did see animals. They are down low. They are moving. So hopefully we could get on a nice cow or bull and we'll try to take them out. So. Um, next time you'll see me, it'll be probably right around the time when the sun's cracking the mountain. So we will see what kind of luck we could get into. So to me, it's going to be a while, but we'll see you in a blink of an eye. What's up, guys? A little update. It's about 4.20 in the morning. I've seen a couple wild horses down by a lake. Um, sun hasn't cracked the mountains yet, so we're still kind of just driving around, taking a look and see what we could find. So we, hopefully we could get on some animals, so we'll give it a shot and when the sun comes up and see what we can find. But yeah, we'll let you know. We'll be back later. All right, guys, so it's about 5.23 in the morning. Um, we're still driving around and we just came across a, a herd of elk crossing one of the roads. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang back for a couple more hours, maybe an hour or two, and uh, wait for the sun to break the mountain so we can get some daylight. And uh, we, we know where they're at, so hopefully, uh, next time you see me we will be uh hopefully on uh some video of elk so let's see how it goes guys i'm excited we found them talk to you later what's up youtube so i just took a bull on the run i think i necked him so we're tracking him down and we're trying to find out where he is because he's not hurt. He's hurt bad, but not bad enough to where he's going to die soon. So I'm going to try to track him down and see if we could get on him and get another good shot in so he don't suffer, you know. Um, next video will be hopefully, or next clip will be me walking up on my pool, baby. Yeah. Talk to you later. What up, YouTube? <clears throat> this is Soko Gaming, 719 AKA Nando. Well, as you can see on the last clip, um, I shot a bull. This is actually two days later, just so you guys know. Um, I shot a bull and I followed him. All right, so we are going out on the second, on the same opening day hunt. We are going back in the evening. We came home, we ate. We took a nap, you know, we, re, we, we, we regrouped and uh, we head back out to the mountains. Um, what ended up happening was as we were driving out to the area where we were hunting, I noticed um, some kind of movement up to the right off, off to the west of me. So I looked and I looked and I looked and I noticed it was moving. So I asked my son, is that a cow or what is that? You know, so as we were going down the highway, I was looking in uh, the passenger mirror and I noticed it turned broadside and it looked like a cow. <clears throat> so I flipped a U-turn. We went back down the side road that was in front of this cow. I pulled off the shoulder, jumped out about 50 foot, you know, off the road. Because in my state, you got to be 50 feet off the road in order to shoot an animal. So I did that, <clears throat> pulled him up on my scope. And uh, I realized it was a, a bull, you know, it was a nice little five by five bull. But uh, he was full sprint, about 250 yards away from me. 
So I made some noises. I tried yelling at him to see if I'd get him to stop, and he wouldn't stop. So I got him in my sights. Um, I'm I'm panning I'm panning, panning along with him, you know, as he's running. And I noticed in my scope that I'm coming up on the road that I was on that he's getting ready to cross it. So I hold off on trigger. <clears throat> he crosses the road. I look to my left, my right, make sure there's no cars coming. I go across the road, go another 50 feet off, put my hairs back on him. Um, and I, I lead him right at the front of the neck. I pull the trigger. Um, I hit him right in the shoulder. But I didn't know that at the time. So I, I, I shoot. I hit him, but I, I turn and I look at my son and I go, did I hit him? And he goes, I don't know. I didn't notice the, the flinch, the, the gun, the, sh the gunshot made me flinch and I didn't see. I told him I'll look through the binoculars again and see what happens. So he did that. He looked through the binoculars and he goes, no, do I see blood? So I got excited, you know. So uh, we jumped back in the truck. I told my son to drive. We jumped back on the main highway and we're, we're, we're looking at where he's going. And he runs up onto the highway and he stops in the middle of the highway. And he's like kind of woozy, you know, like drowsy. And I tell my son, oh, my God, he's going to drop right there. We're going to have to pull him out of the road. So as we get closer, there's two cars coming from the southbound, coming northbound. And there's a car behind us going from northbound to southbound. And uh, so we pull off to the road. The car going southbound goes around us. <clears throat> the other two cars that were coming northbound were kind of a bit of ways away. So we cut a U-turn in front of them. We get off to the side of the shoulder, right next to where the Alk is at. And he's about maybe 20 yards from me at that point. I get out of the truck and I look at him and he's turned broadside and he's staring right at me. So as I'm getting out, I look to the right to see where these vehicles are. And when I look back at the Alk, he has already hightailing it up the hill. So I give chase, I grab my gun, I give chase, and I start going after him. Um, I put my gun up one more time, see if I get one more shot off, and all I see is his rear end. <clears throat> and I will not take that shot. You know, that's just not a healthy shot to take. So uh, he goes over this little rolling mountain, and I'm following him, and I'm following him. My son jumps in the truck, and he tries to find a trail to get to that side. At that point, once I, I get to that little rolling hill... And I look over, I see him running about 550 yards away from me, like he's running. So I pull up my gun, I look in my scope, and I notice he falls. He falls once, boom. Lays there for a few seconds, he gets up, starts walking, and he falls again. So then I keep watching him, and he gets up, and he like stumbles, and he lays in this tree. So I can see my son on the highway to the left of me. He finds a trail, and he starts coming up on my truck, and I just keep walking. So I start hightailing it, and that last clip you seen, that's when I recorded that last clip because I thought he was down, and I thought he was down for good. Well, at this point, I'm walking, you know, and I'm about 10 yards away from where he was at. So I, I'm tired, you know. I'm not the most in shape person, so I'm tired. I get close, and he hops up and takes off running through all these trees to the top of this mountain ridge. And on top of that mountain, it's like flat, you know, so... It, it's like a table that's actually the name of the mountain it's the mesa but it's 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 just table in spanish that's what it's called so i climb up on top and i lose him and and this whole time i'm following a pretty thick blood trail you know once i get to the top of that mountain uh table mountain mesa i lose blood trail but i keep track of his tracks so i keep walking and i'm walking and i'm walking and and, and at this point i've already walked two three miles and then I, I find his trail and he falls again. There's a, there's like a, I don't see him, but I, I see where he stumbled and he fell and there's like a puddle of blood there. And that's the only puddle of blood I've seen. So after a while, I stop my trail and I'm like, all right, I'm pretty far from my vehicle. I don't know where my son's at because he's staying on the bottom of that hill before he you come to the top of the mesa. So I walk back. I, I find him. We jump in the truck. We find a trail to get to the top. I show him where I left off. So we park the truck there. And and we keep walking. You know, we keep walking. So we we get back on trail where I left off. And we're walking. And I, I'm tracking him. And about 20 yards from where we started again, there's this big tree. And his tracks run to the right side of this tree. And we're like, 
tracking him and tracking him. And all of a sudden we hear this movement and my son looks to the left and he goes, oh my God, he's right there. And he's in the tree. He hops up, takes off running. I get my gun out and I turn around and I trace him with my scope while he runs behind my truck. And then he runs behind all these trees so I couldn't get another shot. I noticed as he's running, his left shoulder is blown out. You know, uh, his he's covered in blood, but it wasn't a fatal shot. And um, I end up tracking him as far as I can. And after a certain point, his blood stops. He stops running. And then there's just so much elk in that area. I just lose his tracks amongst all the other tracks. And uh, eventually, I lose him. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm empty-handed. <laughs> I'm actually uh, kind of bummed, you know. I feel very disappointed in myself. Um, because even though my hunt was from the 12th to the 16th, I was only able to hunt from the 12th to the 14th, which today you're watching is the 14th. And I'm on my way home. So... I went this morning for a while. We didn't see anything. We tried tracking him down again. We tried going to the same area and there's nothing. But however, uh, a game, we did talk to the game warden and he said someone took down a five by five bull that was injured. So someone did take my bull down. So he's not suffering anywhere. And uh, I can't prove it was my shot. So I, I just just bummed you know i'm just bummed but uh i just need to get get uh get better you know what hurt me this season was i had full moon the whole time it was warm and uh the only movement i seen was my opening day so next year um we'll try to put in for a later season try to get over the counter at a later season might even try a whole different area because i have noticed this area has gotten scarce with animals just because a lot of people have hunted it out a lot of people come here because it's right on the new mexico border <clears throat> and a lot of those big elks come in between the new mexico border and there's also private lands around here there's a big national well not national but a big private forest here in the valley that's called forbes where i'm from where they produce a lot of large bulls, you know, a lot of people with money, a lot of uh, celebrities, all of them come hunting here because there's a lot of big animals here. But, uh, yeah, it, there's not going to be a three part, you know, I'm done hunting for this year. And, um, I just kind of wanted to give you a sit down of what happened. So, cause that last clip, you know, I, I thought he was down, you know, uh, there was a lot of blood for the first mile that I tracked him till he fell down on the bottom of that hill. I thought he was down, you know, and, I had a good shot on him, but what me and my friend think happened is we, I shot him in the shoulder plate and it deflected the bullet away from his vital organs and I didn't hurt him. So not, I hurt him, but not, not to where it was a lethal shot where he was going to die from his injuries. So I'm uh, sorry for the wobbleness. I'm tired and I'm ready to go home and. I'm recording all this on my phone, so. That's what happened this hunting season, man. And uh, like I said, I'm disappointed, but we'll get them next year. We'll get them next year. My, my gun performed well. For me to even just hit him on a full sprint at 250 yards, I'm, I'm good with, you know. Um, I just hit him. Once, one more step. If his shoulder wouldn't have been back while running and it would have been forward, it would have been a, either a double lung shot or a heart shot. But just timing was horrible. You know, I shot him right as his leg was coming back and I shattered his his uh, shoulder bone and deflected the bullet. So sometimes that's how it works. But uh, I am feeling disappointed um if you guys stick around to watch these videos i just want to thank you um there'll be some more gaming videos uh i'm going to start doing some fishing videos too so 
with ice season coming up, as long as I ain't working my ass off, I'll be doing some ice fishing. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you like any of my videos, you know, it, it help. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. This is the end of my 2019 hunting video and a story for the lifetime. Peace.